Hi everyone, welcome to the QA Ops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to keep learning a little bit more about Shell and how Shell can help us uh, on our daily lives. Last video I, talk, uh, I started talking about Shell and how you can create a switch case and how you can pass parameters to a Shell file from your terminal. We're going to improve a little bit there, create functions today. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to be posting that video for you. I'm also going to be posting. Uh, I'm also going to be posting the video for the whole playlist of setting up your computer in order to get here, and also the Java playlist. Right? If you haven't subscribed, please do so, so we can keep it up with what you have been learning. So let's let's dig in here. So the first thing that we're going to do. So where's my terminal? And we have the, the 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 file here in IntelliJ, right? We're going to create the folder here. We're going to create a folder called functions. I'm just going to create a file called functions.sh. Right, this file if we open the terminal here, we're going to have a functions is not uh executable so let's make that file executable so now i have an executable file and i'm going to use that file to create my own function so i'm going to call function that's how i create a function and i'm going to create a function called copy copy clipboard copy just copy and that's basically what i need and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do echo and I'm going to do echo on everything that I pass to that function, right? That's great, right? So if I call that function copy here, it's not going to work, right? Because the first thing I, need, I would need to do is I would have to call this script uh, I would have to, as we did last time, nothing happened because this is a function. I would have to call the function here, passing all the parameters, the parameters, right? Everything that I pass to that function, I would have to put it here. All right, so now if I do anything, it's going to, it's going to work because I'm, I'm bridging, right? But that's not what I want. I don't want to create a function and then have to pass and decide which function function I need to call. I want to have a file with all the functions that I that I that I use in my daily life without having to actually go into a folder and I want that to be part of my terminal. So this is pretty easy. I just need to put this file, this function file on my bash bash script and I'll have access to that. Right. So if you remember when you talk about bash, I have a file here. So this is my, I have a file called bash rc on my, on my home. So I'm going to source the function that we just created, right? And that function is on this folder and I'm calling functions sh. And this is what I'm doing, right? I have a bash file that's going to be read when I enter my terminal. It's going to have all these aliases, and I'm also saying load the function files, the function here in this folder. I'm going to source that again. And now if I do copy, it was able to see copy. I, I didn't pass anything, but now I'm passing my parameters so I have my functions there, right? The bad thing is that every time that I need to, if I change a file, uh, uh, if I change my function, I need to reload that, right? One of the commands that I use a lot is copy a output of a terminal to my clipboard, right? So let me show you, I have a, the properties file here and I would like to copy all this content, right? I did a cat and I'd like to copy all this content to my clipboard or to, to my Google Docs or to put on a chat, on a channel, something like this. And I have to uh, copy and paste it uh, if, I, if, I, if I need, right? 
one command that you, we have on Mac is called pbcopy. There is an equivalent to 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 a uh, to that command on a Unix, but I don't really remember the command. Uh, but then it would be a pipe in the command, and it's going to copy everything there on my clipboard, right? But I don't want to every time need to do pipe pipe copy pipe pb copy, right? This is the same as I do with my history history pipe grab. I have a alias called hg, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to we have this function copy, right? And I'm going to instead of echo echoing that, I'm going to say pipe pb copy. I need to reload my bash rc, which is source bash rc. And now when I do cat properties, so let me clean my clipboard so we can actually see that it's working. Uh, copy prop cat copy cat properties. It's here because I'm saying copy, I'm calling the function, and I'm sending this as a parameter, right? So it's being picked up by the dollar at, and then it's going to put a pipe, pipe, pb copy, right? This is going to work the majority of the time, but it's important for you to make sure it's always going to be, always going to work. Sometimes, uh, since you are passing a command, we pass the cat command that could that could have a variable that could have different things. So it's important to make sure that the Unix is going to evaluate that correctly. So there is a command called eval, which is going to evaluate that string. And if there is any variable or any command that needs to be evaluated, eval is going to make sure that happens. Right. So that's basically just to make sure you won't have any failures there. Awesome, great. So we use a, we, I use branch a lot on my daily lives, right? So there is, I, I'm going to be creating branches and deleting branches and we do branch-based development at work. So I end up having a lot of branches on my local repository. So I can have easily five to 10 branches to delete I can delete those branches, so let's do git branch test2, test3, anything, doesn't matter, anything3, git branch. So if I do git branch dash d on caps, test, test2, and test3, it's going to delete that in a row, right? But then if I have 5, 10, I have to type all of that. So it's it's a lot. So I created a command that it just deletes all my branches except the ones that I'm working on in my principal branch. In my case, my principal, my, my main branch, I called main. So I've, I'm starting to call all my branches main instead of master. You're still going to see a lot of repository being called master and make sure you don't delete that because that's the the branch that's going to be going to production so what we can do is we have a command called git branch right and i want to make sure that my main branches are not deleted and the branch that i'm currently on which means that the branch that i'm working right so let's do git checkout Let's create another branch, git branch, git checkout dash b test, git branch. So I'm on the branch test. So I, I want to get all the branches. I'm going to use the e grab command. I'm not going to use the grab command because the grab command cannot find uh, more advanced regular expressions, just basic ones. So I'm going to use the e grab. And I'm going to pass a string, which is my regular expression. Say I want to find my mass, my main branch. It's my bra main branch. And I want to find the grab command would not find it here. See, it's unable to find. I would have to put something like this. 
but I want to evaluate a regular expression, more advanced regular expression, which means it's I, I want I'm passing two values, my main branch and the branch them that I'm currently working on, which is marked by the star. So I want to get the star. I need I cannot put just a star here because uh, it's not going to be evaluated properly. I need to escape that star to make sure that it's going to be evaluated. So it's uh, backslash backslash. Uh, sorry, it's e grab. All right. If I don't put the 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 backslash, it's going to not be ev properly evaluated. So when I put when I escape that, then it was able to find those two, right? But I don't want to delete those two. I want to delete all other ones except those two. So there. I can pass another command to egrep called dash v, which is invert the evaluation, which is like a, 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 you are denying, right? So instead of bringing everything that you found, bring everything that does not match this. So now it's going to bring, every, bring everything that is not main and does not have a star. Right? So now I, I, now I have that in a new line. I need to make sure that that is on a straight line so I can simulate the git branch dash d that we use, right? So it, this is on a straight line separated by spaces. So there is another command called xargs, which is going to get all of those commands separated by new line and is going to make on a simple line separated by spaces. Now I can call my git branch dash d and it's going to delete all of those two, all of those two, right? Awesome. So what we want to do, we want to pass those to a function. All right, so I copy that so we can do delete branches. I'm not going to put the name function here so, so I can show you, but I like to put the name function because uh, it gets, it gets explicit that's a function. Right, so that's basically what we did. I'm going to say now git branch uh, test, test two, test three, test four. We have a few branches. I'm going to reload my function and now I'm going to say delete branches and deleted test one, test two, test four. It just kept the branch that I'm working on and the main branch. But this is a very uh, dangerous command because if I type it by mistake, I'm going to delete all my branches and I do not want to do that by mistake. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the name function here. So we haven't learned yet about uh, how to do ifs, but then this is going to be pretty straightforward, very simple. So what we are going, to, what I'm going to basically set, tell the user, are you sure you want to do this? So I'm going to say echo, and I'm going to say, are you sure you want to delete all branches? And I'm going to give the user uh, the option of saying yes or no. Right? So. Usually I put the yes on uppercase because that forces the user to actually hit Y uppercase. Now I need to read that in the, the, the user selection, right? So I'm going to do read, read response. So whatever the user typed is going to be on a variable called response. Now I can evaluate that variable. I can say, uh, if response is y, then do this, and you need to close the if with five. So I'm going to resource to reload that and I'm going to create a, a bunch of others. Git branch test two, three, four, 
and five. Now I can do delete branches. And we say, are you sure you want to delete all branches? Yes or no? If I do N, it's not going to do anything. If I do smaller Y, it's not going to do anything. If I do big Y, then it's going to delete all my branches except the one that I'm the main and the one that I'm currently on. So that's basically what I want to show you, how you can use uh, Shell to make your life easier, right? Please note that we did not have the, the need to call the functions, the actual file. We sorted that, we loaded that into, into our terminal and those functions are available for me as any other functions in the Unix. So that makes it even easier. You don't have to, you don't have to enter that file. You don't have to call that file. You just need to call that function and everything, anything that you want to put it there is going to be available for you whenever you need it. Right, so thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, give the thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.